This video is presented by EA Game Changers. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today's video is obviously a very special one because it is an early access video using the new Sims 4 Tiny Home, Tiny Living Stuff Pack. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over all of the items that you get with this new pack, all of the build and buy items, all of the new furniture pieces. You can see I've already laid them all out right here in front of us. So thank you so much to the EA Game Changers program and the Sims 4 team for giving me this code so I can review this pack early for you guys and kind of let you guys know if I think it's worth your money or not, or at least help in your decision to decide if you think it's worth it or not. So right off the bat, I'm just gonna let you guys know that this pack does come with 34 new build and buy items and 32 create a sim items. So in total, this new stuff pack comes with 66 items and some new gameplay features as well so even just thinking about the items itself 66 items for a $10 stuff pack that comes out to around 15 cents per item so each one of these items is gonna cost you about 15 cents which I think um, is a decent deal if you really think about it a new a new chair for example that comes with you know several swatches only costs 15 cents pretty good deal in my opinion you guys might think otherwise but that's kind of the cost analysis and the cost breakdown for you guys if you guys are interested in that um but let's get into the actual features so with this new pack we did get a new lot type which makes sense because this is a tiny living pack so we want to be able to make tiny homes so the new lot type we get is called tiny home residential and it says, tiny homes are a way of life. How small a space can you fit the essentials? There's three progressively difficult goals to challenge yourself, small, tiny, and micro. How low can you go? So I really like that because you guys know I like a challenge, whether it's with budget or limiting packs or whatever it may be. I like it when The Sims challenges us and makes the game a little bit more difficult because sometimes the game can kind of get a little bit easy. You know, things are handed to you too easily. So I like that this, you know, poses a challenge for us. So let's dive into that. So when you choose the tiny home residential lot type, there are three different tiers. There's the easiest one, which is small home, which is only 100 tiles. Tier two is tiny home at 64 tiles, and tier one is micro home at 32 tiles. So that means that your entire home can only be, you know, 164 or 32 tiles maximum. So each tier gets progressively harder. Obviously, tier three is the easiest. Tier two is, you know, get in there. And tier one is, you know, close to impossible. You're going to have to get really creative with your tiny home building with that. So I definitely like um, the different challenges. You know, it's not just one type of tiny home. You can have three different tiers of tiny home. And with each tier comes more rewards. So the smaller the home, the more rewards you can get. And some of the different rewards rewards are stuff like um, reduced bills or even sometimes your relationship building can happen quicker if you have like a small home. So those are some of the cool little um, rewards and benefits that come with building a smaller home. So again, that gives us kind of incentive to build a tiny home. Um, giving us rewards for having a smaller home. So I definitely really like that. Otherwise, if there's no incentives, there's no benefits to having a tiny home, it's like, why would you put yourself through the struggle? So I do enjoy how they did um, give some some incentive there. So let's move on to the items we got. So I've laid them all out and kind of created different little sets to kind of showcase different types of, you know, color swatches and stuff that we do get with this. So here's some of the first items we got. So right here, this little couch set thing, um, you guys probably saw it in the trailer, but this is actually a Murphy bed. So this thing doubles as a couch and a bed. So when I actually click on the item, you can see that it comes out um, four tiles outward. That's because the bed pulls down from this top part 
down onto onto the rug and it becomes a bed so it's kind of like a two-in-one object so that's really great for space saving you can have a little kind of like studio home where the living room and your bedrooms all in one and I know a lot of people were really excited for this Murphy bed um, and it does come in a ton of different color swatches I'll show you some of them now a lot of nice dark wood tones a lot of neutral tones but then also a lot of nice pops of color like like this nice mint one um this bright blue one and also you know neutrals like black and white so this little set i've made right here is kind of just like a neutral white theme um these lamps right here are new as well they definitely are you know really pretty lamps i like the color swatches again all of the color swatches are very complementary to each other um you can definitely tell that all of these items do come in a set because the wood tones match really nicely so here are some of the different color swatches um you know a lot of neutrals and a lot of nice subtle pops of color which i do appreciate because sometimes when the colors are too vibrant it's too much but i feel like they did they did it really subtly kind of like this one it's a it's a black and and a brown um lamp but then there's a nice subtle pop of orange at the bottom so definitely like what they did there um here you can see we got a brand new little couch it's kind of like an armchair on the side again same complementary colors that it came with and then we did get a rug with a bunch of different color swatches the pattern of the rug stays the same the entire time but the colors just change and then this little item is the poof. Everybody really loved the poof. Everyone was super excited for the poof. Um, one thing to note is the poof isn't, you can't sit on the poof, which I thought was kind of weird because I thought poofs were kind of like little seats that you could sit on, but I think it's just like an object. It's kind of just like a decorative object, which is kind of disappointing. I thought it would kind of work like an ottoman but it doesn't but nonetheless it's still really pretty and i like how this kind of living room setup looks um, with the bed and the chairs so that's really nice um, moving on to here here you can see that this murphy bed combo is the exact same it just comes with this little bookshelf attached to it so it really is the exact same item but it's just if you like took the bookshelf off those two items would be exact same but this one comes with the bookshelf attached so here you can see I've kind of gone for um, a darker wood color scheme with pops of turquoise blue. So this bookshelf is new, obviously. And then this is a nice little dresser that is also new. Um, also to note, you can stack things on top of it, like a, like a little um, decorative piece or something like that. And this comes in a lot of different colors that, again, complement it really nicely. I like those little subtle pops of color, like I was saying, like they're purple and orange, you know, this red. Um, and additionally, there's a lot of just nice neutral colors as well. So I definitely like, definitely like where they're going with this, and I definitely appreciate appreciate all of the neutrals and the colors um, and this little item right here is a kind of two or I think it's a three it's a three in one item so it's a bookshelf it is a stereo like to play music and it's a TV all in one so it comes together all as a set I didn't assemble this or anything like that um, and it works nicely um, with this little Murphy bed combo so you can see that this item comes out right to here and then I can just put my bookshelf right there. And it also acts as a nice divider for a room. If you had like more room over here, you could put this bookshelf in kind of like as a room divider to kind of divide out your bedroom and living room from the rest of the rest of your tiny home. Um, and then here we got a nice little side table again. It's just the same kind of complementary colors that all the un other furniture come with and yeah it's very nice it's very simplistic it would look really nice in a tiny home because it is so you know just very minimalistic which i like and of course this little new um lamp again same complementary colors they kind of repeated the same color scheme as you can see in the catalog down here it's the same color scheme kind of throughout the entire collection um which is good because it kind of makes the collection somewhat idiot proof if you know what i mean because if you put a bunch of items together that are meant to go together because the colors kind of coincide you're you're bound to come up with a nice design so i do kind of like how they made everything very complimentary so that's a nice little minimalistic lamp that will go well in a tiny home so i kind of wish that the rug came in different patterns if it wasn't just the same diamond pattern throughout the entire thing 
because if you want to use the rug more than once, it, it looks really similar. So I wish it did come in a different color swatch or a different pattern, but you know, you can't win them all, I guess. So moving on to this little console. So this is another Murphy bed. It's the exact same as all the other Murphy beds, but there's no couch attached to it. So I guess the reasoning behind this one is if you want this to be a Murphy bed, but you want to have your living room kind of like over here or something like that, you don't want to have the bed attached to the couch. So you can't actually like put a couch in front of it if you want to because the bed still needs to pull down. So the only couches that work are the ones that are attached to the actual Murphy bed. So you can't like make your own like that because it won't work. It won't it won't register as like the same thing if you know what I mean. So this again is the same kind of dealio where these shelves are just attached to it they just snap right to it but these shelves also work as like a standalone item just like that so for this little setup i kind of just made um kind of like a bedroom where this bed would pull down and then you have your living room over here so some of these items i've already gone over i'm just going through different kind of color swatches and making different sets for you guys so this is a nice little coffee table that we got um, also works as an end table but you could also put it in front like that as a coffee table this is that same lamp we were talking about again i love the neutral colors that it came with and then i just put little two little poofs on either side just to kind of tie it all together um and these two items are ones we haven't gone over yet so this is a dresser it's a nice tiny skinny dresser which i love because i feel like all of the dressers we have so far are also long and big and bulky except for the ones in Discover University, which we just got. But I think this one looks a little bit more miniature, which I love. So this one, again, comes in all the same complementary colors that we've been seeing so far. Um, I kind of like I kind of like this one better for this room. Yeah, that actually looks a little bit better. But I kind of just put them on either side of the TV. And this is a cool little TV console as well. It's a mini TV that kind of snaps to the wall. And built in is also like a nice little stereo. So there's a lot of kind of like two in one, three in one kind of objects here. Is this also a bookcase? I'm not really sure. But can we, are we able to stack stuff on here? No, we can't stack stuff on this little shelf here, but we can stack stuff on top of these little dressers, which is nice. Um, and obviously, this little book combo thing is a new item. And we did get some cool, fun colors with these as well. So I'll just show you guys some of the new colors i like this pink um so yeah i really like this kind of setup right now um and i do like how there is an option for a murphy bed that doesn't have a couch built in because sometimes you might want to keep your living room kind of separate kind of like this setup where you have your bed here and then your living room over here um so yeah so moving on, let's go over here to kind of the other area that we skipped over earlier. We did get these really nice dining chairs. So over here, this one was the living chair. It's kind of more cushiony. And these are the nice little dining chairs that we got. So we didn't get a dining table that would fit these chairs, which is kind of interesting. But we did get these cool little writing desks. I put three out right here just so you can see some of the different colors. But we'll go through again same complimentary colors that we have been going through this entire pack um i do like that one with the black legs that's really nice and i think there would be a matching there should be a matching um chair yeah i think that matches yeah so again a lot of nice fun colors you can make it kind of look more fun and more more kid friendly or you can make it look a little bit more neutral and sleek so i do like um, I do like this item. I think that it's really nice and I like that there is finally another like one tile desk because most of the time desks are like two tiles and they're really big and bulky again. So they definitely did stay on the tiny theme here by making it kind of a really compact one tile desk, which I love. I also, I just really like these two. I wanted to display these two right here because I really liked how neutral and sleek they were. I just, I don't know. I just, I just really like them. I like neutral colors and I've been really into wood tones lately. So these kind of like wood tones in black or this really rich wood tone and white um, is really attractive to me. Um, but anyways, moving on to over here, we did, we didn't get a dining table, I said, but we did get a high top table, which I guess is a dining table, so I kind of lied. Um, but here you can see there is this high top table with these matching bar stools, which I think is really a fun idea. 
it's kind of cool that they gave us like a high top table with bar stools because that's kind of different sometimes we don't get bar stools or anything like that so let's see the swatches it just comes with four swatches just like neutral a light wood a dark wood a white and a black which i love and then you guys guessed it, the same complimentary kind of color swatches that go with anything. So you can definitely, you know, make your place look a little bit more fun and bright by going with like a nice yellow, or you can keep it neutral like, like right here. Um, also, we did get these nice hanging lights above it, as you can see. Um, and here are some of the colors that it comes with. They are, they're cute. I mean, I like them. Nothing to complain about there. And we did get multiple heights. So over here, you can see the longer version of the same light that I've used here in this little living room setup. So let's move on to the living room now that I'm talking about that. So this couch, I've already showed you guys. I've used it already over there. But here I showed you just like a more classic living room setup. And we did get this new side table, which is really cute because it has a little like storage in the side table, which I think is brilliant and very, very tiny home living-esque. But here again, different types of color swatches. Um, you know, I kind of like this one actually. That looks really cute. You know, you can stack stuff on it. We also did get this cute little, um, just like a decor tray with little candles. Those candles do actually light up the room too. So they are functional candles and a little succulent in there. I think that's so cute. Again, different, different colors, all the different colors you could possibly want. Um, I like that one. That one's pretty cute. Um, and yeah, I kind of went for a turquoise and yellow theme here. So very bright. This pack is definitely very neutral. You can definitely go the ultra neutral and sleek route. But as you can see here, you can go for like a very loud and bright theme as well. So here I just showed you guys another little living room setup. I don't know. I was just having fun making different um, living room like setups i guess i feel like i made like an ikea store like when you look at it like this it's just like a furniture store honestly that's what it looks like um but here i just wanted to showcase different ways to use the items um in different color schemes you can go for so that you don't get like too locked in on like one certain color scheme i just wanted to showcase different ways you can you know make the pack look completely different you can make it look you know black and white and neutral you can make it look purple you can make it look nice and fun and bright and blue and yellow um so here I went for kind of like a purple and orange and, and dark wood toned theme um I do think it's really pretty uh not super my style but I do like how they have matching colors so this poof matches this armchair which matches the purple in these pillows so it was definitely all you know well thought out they definitely knew what they were doing when they were choosing the colors and they knew what direction they wanted to go in terms of the color palette so i really do appreciate that i hate it when when colors don't match like the finishes of the wood and stuff like that i don't like it when they don't match so i'm happy that they they're listening to our feedback you guys and making stuff that actually goes together well um so that's pretty much it for the living room stuff and then over here i just have some wall decor and some bathroom stuff so they did give us this new toilet, which is uh, not the most exciting thing in the world, in my opinion, but nonetheless, it's a new toilet. It is quite compact, I guess. Toilets all just kind of take up one square regardless, so, I mean, cool. It's another toilet. That's, that's great, I guess. <laughs> and then here, we did get this new sink. I do really love how it comes on this nice wood, wood table in a stand that matches the rest of the furniture we got. This wood is very consistent throughout the whole pack, so it was definitely all bought from the same store, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, so again, just different color swatches, ones that complement everything else. So if you wanted to go all out and just make like a matchy-matchy home with all the same wood tones, you can totally go for it. We did get this really cool mirror. Um, I really like this. Um, I love getting mirrors because I think mirrors look really pretty in builds and stuff and I like to use mirrors around my builds um, a lot in other places besides just the bathroom if you guys know me you guys know I think this mirror looks like it opens up see how like there's hinges on the side I don't know if that's decorative or if it's real um but it's probably just decorative but I like the little added detail like that um and then we did get this cute little overhanging shelf thing and it has like you know your towels and your soaps and stuff like that 
I like that. It's very cute, very um, minimalistic, very modern. And then we did get some new paintings. So I did kind of lay out some of the paintings here. The paintings come with tons of color swatches, which I love. Look at this little bunny. Oh, I love that. Okay. So, you know, there's tons of different swatches for you to explore. You'll never use the same one twice because they literally give you so many. Um, so that's really nice. I like the little coffee one too, that's why I picked that one, but there's this cute little fox, and then this, I know everyone's gonna love this, the hanging succulent plant, what a great idea, I love the succulent plant decoration in the base game, so the fact that they made like a hanging one, very very cute, I'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of this, especially since it's so thin too, it's really good for like slotting into thin like small spaces if you have like a little bit of wall that you just want to cover a little bit of the blank space just slot a couple of these in they're really thin and they look really cute they like take up a lot of space vertically so they're they're good for filling up a blank space so then here we got one kitchen item so we didn't get any other kitchen items in this pack mainly just like living items which i am personally okay with but we did get this cute little hanging shelf item so i think that this would be good in a tiny home because you know in tiny homes you're not necessarily going to have like a ton of cabinets maybe because it might look a little bit cramped so this open shelving definitely feels like it would make the space not feel too cramped with like these big overhead cabinets so i'm definitely gonna use this and i see myself getting a lot of use out of this in a tiny home or even not in a tiny home um, when I make like my modern farmhouse interiors, I can see myself using this. I love open shelving and I do like the color swatches that it came with. I will say this item doesn't come with the same exact complementary color swatches that the rest of the items come with. Like this mint, where did this mint color come from? If you look at all of the other items, like there's no mint color in this pack like that's not even mint that's turquoise so it kind of seems like this item is like a one-off <laughs> i don't know like it kind of just feels like it you know i mean it kind of does look have the same color color palette as the rest but some of the colors kind of came out of nowhere like this pink i guess i don't know i'm not complaining i don't i, I like this item i definitely do um but yeah and then lastly last but not least we did get one new door so here are my favorite three colors, I guess, because they're neutral and you know I like neutrals, but here are all the different colors. Again, the same complementary colors that came with the rest of the packs. So you can definitely, you know, mix and match. Um, it's a nice little door, very modern, very sleek, and yeah, I think that anyone will be able to use that just fine. We didn't get any interior doors, so no doors for interiors, which is fine because i feel like that's not a priority in tiny homes you're not really going to have a ton of different rooms so you're probably not going to have a ton of doors on the inside because your tiny homes will just be like everything crammed into one space so that like you're not going to have a lot of room separation anyways so i kind of understand where they're coming from there and we didn't get any kind of like windows or build items for building exteriors. So they definitely focused more on interiors here and what we're going to do inside the tiny home rather than outside of the tiny home. So uh, I must say I'm, I am okay with that just because I'm super happy with all of the items that we got. I think that they all go together really nicely. Like even just looking at them right here, like as an overview like this, like these items look super, super good together and these neutral wood tones they really nailed it with that and the fact that they offered all of the color swatches for every single item i can definitely see the work put into that to make it cohesive i really don't like it when they say offer this many color swatches for a chair but then you go over to another chair and like you can't find a matching wood tone so i definitely really like how they 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 gave us all the different swatches that we so that we can make a really cohesive um home and yeah i'm i am quite happy with that again we didn't get any kitchen items no exterior items but yeah overall i am pretty happy with these items i do wish maybe we got some new tiny like windows or something like that like a window would have been nice or I mean, we already got mini fridges in Discovery University, so we didn't really need that. Oh, I'm totally missing something. A bed. I'm missing the bed. I didn't go over the bed. Okay, here it is. We did get a single bed. 
Oh my goodness, how could I forget that? Why don't I just make something real quick right now? Here we go. So here's a bed that we got. Um, it is just like a single bed, nothing super special, I guess, but I do appreciate that we got a new bed. Um, here are the different swatches. Um, I like that one. Um, but yeah, there's a new bed. It's not a Murphy bed. I feel like I didn't talk about this bed because the focus was on these Murphy beds back here. So yeah, but here's a bed. If you wanted to have a non-Murphy bed tiny home, you can you can use this this one right here. But but there you have it. That is an overview of every single item we got in the new tiny living stuff pack. Again, in total, we got 66 items, 34 build and buy items, and 32 create a sim items. So if you're paying $10 for a stuff pack and you divide it out per item, you are only paying 15 cents per item here. And each item does come with multiple swatches. So given that cost breakdown and what you've seen today, hopefully this helps you decide whether or not you think that this pack is worth the price tag and if you think it is worth adding to your game. Um, I personally am quite happy to have these items and I'm definitely going to have a lot of fun using them. In terms of pros and cons, I would definitely say my biggest pro here is obviously these Murphy beds because it is a cool new functional item that we've never had before as well as these kind of like three-in-one bookshelf TV um, stereo items. I definitely like the space saving there. And the other thing that is my favorite is how cohesive all of the items are. I love how all of the wood tones are so beautiful and they are so consistent across every single item that you can definitely make sure that you'll have a cohesive design when you are doing your interior and you're not gonna, you know, have one dining chair that won't match your couch or something like that they definitely really thought it out and put in the work to make sure that every single item had all the color swatches so that you could make a really cohesive um build so that's definitely a pro a con is perhaps um the lack of flooring and wallpaper that we got we didn't get any flooring no wallpaper um we didn't get any windows which i think would have been nice and in terms of individual item cons, I do wish that this rug came with different patterns besides just this kind of diamond pattern. But you know, all of those things are just my opinion. They are cons, but they're not huge cons. Again, like I said, we did get 34 build and buy items total anyways, and it doesn't negate the fact that we are only paying 15 cents per item. So I am happy that we got all of these items, and I hope that you guys are too. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching i really hope that you guys found this helpful and by the way if you guys want to see me use every single one of these items in action all at once i am doing a build it's going to be uploaded probably right now of me putting every single one of these items into one singular build so one singular tiny home is going to fit all 34 of these build and buy items into one home so if you want to see these all in action i'll link that video down below and i hope that you guys go check it out if you guys want to see an actual home being built with these but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching i really hope that you guys enjoyed it and thought it was helpful let me know down below if you guys think you will be purchasing the new tiny living stuff pack and don't forget to also let me know what kind of builds you guys want to see me build with this pack and if this is our first time meeting don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to be friends or if you want to see more sims 4 videos i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye everybody